ladies and gentlemen, we have the head table with lead. We have the head table with lead. And then we will try to get our students from the different programs after. So, music, let's go. A magic spark that lights the fire of our imagination. And since the dawn of man, the strength of just I can has brought together people of all nations. There's nothing ordinary. magic spark that lights the fire of our imagination and since the dawn of man the strength of just I can has brought together people of all nations there's nothing ordinary in the living of each day there's a special part that every one of us will play. Feel the flame forever burn, teaching lessons we must learn to bring us closer to the power of the dream. As the world gives us its best, to stand apart from all the rest, it is the power. Brings a sea. Your mind will take you far. The rest is just your heart. You'll find your fate is all your own creation. And then Child and man, it's 
It's the moment that you think you can You'll discover that you magic spark that lights the fire of our imagination and since the dawn of man the strength of just I can has brought together people of all nations there's nothing ordinary in the living of each day there's a special part every one of us will play. Feel the flame forever burn, teaching lessons we must learn to bring us closer to the power of the dream. As the world gives us its best to stand apart from all the rest, it is the power. Brings us here. Your mind will take you far. The rest is just your heart. You'll find your fate is all your own creation. And then child and man It's the moment that you think you can't You'll discover that you
there lies a magic spark that lights the fire of our imagination. And since the dawn of man, the strength of just I can has brought together people of all nations. There's nothing ordinary in the living of each day. There's a special part that every one of us will play. Feel the flame forever burn, teaching lessons we must learn to bring us closer to the power of the dream. As the world gives us its best, to stand apart from all the rest It is the power of the dream That brings us here Your mind will take you far The rest is just to be your heart You'll find your fate is all your own creation and every boy and girl as they come into this world they bring the gift of hope and inspiration feel the flame forever burn teaching lessons we must learn to bring us closer to the power child and man It's the moment that you think you can't You'll discover that you magic spark that lights the fire of our imagination and since the dawn of man the strength of just I can has brought together people of all nations there's nothing ordinary in the living of each day 
There's a special part that every one of us will play. Feel the flame forever burn, teaching lessons we must learn to bring us closer to the power of the dream. As the world gives us its best, to stand apart from all the rest, it is the power. Brings a sea. Your mind will take you far. The rest is just your heart. You'll find your fate is all your own creation. And then. They bring the gift of hope and inspiration. Feel the flame forever burn. Teaching lessons we must learn to bring us closer to the power of the dream. The world unites in hope and peace. We pray that it will always be. It is the power. Child and man, it's the moment that you think you can't. You'll discover that you. magic spark that lights the fire of our imagination and since the dawn of man the strength of just I can has brought together people of all nations there's nothing ordinary in the living of each day there's a special part that every one of us will play. Feel the flame forever burn, teaching lessons we must learn to bring us closer to the power of the dream. As the world gives us its best to stand apart from all the rest, it is the power. 
for the arrival of the Governor General of Grenada, Dame Cecile La Grenade.
You may be seated. Members of the head table, you may have your seats. Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency Dame Cecilia Grenada, Minister for Education, Youth, Sports, and Culture, Senator the Honorable David Andrew, other distinguished ministers of government and parliamentarians, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Chairperson of the College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenade, and members of the College Council, Principal, Dr. Ronald Brunton, Registrar, Mrs. Marva Bowen-Neptune, other members of the Senior Management Team, Administration, faculty and staff of the college, distinguished featured speaker, Dr. Nicholas Earl Brathwaite, entrepreneur and philanthropist, esteemed representatives of local, regional, and international educational institutions, evangelist Daniel Ross of the Christian Brethren Assemblies, esteemed representatives of the corporate community, senior officials of government ministries and departments, representatives of the media, Students of the 2023 graduating class, specially invited guests, parents, relatives, and other well-wishers, virtual attendees, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am Trelona Charles, the Corporate Communications Officer of the TA Marisha Community College, and as your chair for today's graduation ceremony, it is my privilege to stand before you and extend my warmest congratulations to each and every one of our graduates as we celebrate under the theme, Centering Tam Sisi in a Great Grenadian Reset. Today is a day of mixed emotions, a bittersweet farewell to the chapters that have defined our graduates' educational journey and an exciting beginning as they embark on their future endeavors. It is a day that symbolizes not only the culmination of hard work, dedication, and determination, but also the start of new opportunities, dreams, and possibilities. Today, we will pay tribute to the achievements and recognize the efforts of our incredible graduates while also acknowledging the unwavering support and guidance of their mentors, family, and friends. And as we begin today, this afternoon's ceremony, I invite evangelist Daniel Ross from Christian Brethren Assemblies to invoke God's presence. Please stand. Thank you very much. A pleasant good afternoon to everybody. Uh, I stand upon established protocol in every sense of the word because our Lord Jesus Christ established a protocol that we can come to God even through him uh, this afternoon. Uh, just before we present uh, this ceremony before the Lord, we want to just say a few, just a few words to you. Uh, the, the word of God says that man has been made in the image and likeness of God. That means to a certain extent because it's a very deep thought, but that man was is body, soul, and spirit, a tripartite being, just as God is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And this is saying to us that we have three parts. God wants us to concentrate not only on our bodies, but our soul and our, our spirits likewise. As we look around, we can see that uh, many of you here, you are, have been concentrating very much on your bodies and on your souls. But the important part is the spirit, because the spirit God has given to us is a part of us that is able to communicate with God. The word of God tells us in the, in the book of Luke's gospel, chapter two and verse 52, that and Jesus increased in wisdom, that, it, that means that mentally he did well, and in stature, physically he did well, and in favor with God, spiritually he did well, and with man, socially he excelled. God wants us to be well-rounded and grounded. 
In fact, he said to his servant in the book of John, First John Gospel, uh, First John, he said that, that uh, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. So, hooray to you, hats off to you, that those of you who are graduating here today, all the graduates, we want to say praise God for you and kudos to you this afternoon. Our Father, we bless thy name for another time we can come before your presence. We give thee thanks for the established protocol by thy Son, O Lord Jesus Christ. We come upon this established protocol today. Thy word said that when Jesus Christ said it, it, it was finished, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, giving man the access by a new and living way into the holies of all. And dear God, this afternoon we come right into your throne room, seeking your help, seeking your guidance, seeking your protection, because dear God, we realize without thee we are helpless. We can recall thy son, O Lord Jesus Christ, saying to the disciples, without me, he can do nothing. And dear God in heaven, we give you thanks to the organizers, uh, Lord, this time CC school, the those that have been organizing the theme and everything. Oh God in heaven, we thank you to know that they have chosen to invite and invoke your presence. And dear God in heaven, we ask a special blessing upon those that will be graduating today. We pray, dear God, that they might realize and continue to keep focus in their mind that Jesus Christ is the source of all things and they should give him the right place in their lives. Oh, Father, even as they would leave here, help them, they might realize that this is not the end of the book, but the end of a chapter. As they continue to learn and to feed their souls, they God, that they might be conscious that their spirit needs to be fed likewise. Oh, Father, we give thee thanks for the privilege today. Bless each and every one that will be taking part in every way. Bless the graduates and Father in heaven. Bless, bless. We invite and invoke your presence with thanksgiving in the precious name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you to Evangelist Daniel Ross. Please remain standing as we have the national anthem, which will be done by Jonathan Telesford and Laurisha Bartholomew, graduates from the class of 2023. We pledge ourselves to Thee. Heads, hearts, and hands in unity to reach our destiny. Ever conscious of God, being proud of one people, one family, God bless our nation. Thank you, graduates. You may have your seats. To officially welcome you to the annual graduation ceremony of the TA Marisho Community College, I call on Mrs. Marva Bowen Neptune, registrar and the chair of the graduation committee. Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency Dame Cecile Lagonard, Minister for Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, Senator the Honorable David Andrew, other distinguished 
members of government and parliamentarians, members of the Dip diplomatic corps, chair of the college council, Dr. Wendy Grenade, and other members of the college council, principal, Dr. Ronald Brunton, other members of the senior management team, the administration, faculty, and staff of the college, distinguished featured speaker, Dr. Nicholas Earl Brathwaite, educa entrepreneur and philanthropist, esteemed representatives of local and regional, international, educational institutions, evangelist Daniel Ross of the Christian Brethren Assemblies, senior officials of government ministries and departments, representative of the media, students of the 2023 graduating class, specially invited guests, parents, relatives, and other well-wishers, those who are viewing virtually, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning to you. Oh, afternoon. Oh, my goodness. I always have graduation. For many years, we have it in the morning. So I'm, I'm, I'm living in the morning. I'm so sorry. Good afternoon. I see why you, you hesitated. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I, I was feeling a little nervous for some reason and praying about the rain and all of that. But this morning, we want to, this afternoon, again, we want to just recognize your presence here today. And I feel like, do you know the song, One Love, One, One Heart? Can you sing that? Where, where are the ladies who sing? Can we just get one little line of this? One love, one heart. Let's, everybody, not a solo. Let's get together and feel all right. Let's hear that again. One love, one love. Come on. One heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Brethren, stop your channel. One love. unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endure it forever first chronicles 16 34 I'm so happy I'm honored and I'm privileged to welcome you to the 2023 graduation ceremony of the TA Marshall Community College graduates congratulations it's jubilee time a time to celebrate you and your achievements so many of us have taken the time to come here today to recognize you. Graduates, how are you doing today? How are you feeling? We are blessed by our creator with a beautiful day today. A day to praise you, graduates, and a day to focus on you. You have done it. You have weathered the storm. You have marked your territory. And today we will you will receive your reward. What a proud moment, what a journey. Pat yourselves on the back, feel proud of your accomplishments. You may even give yourself a round of applause. How about that? <laughs> the book of Proverbs 16.3, be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, do not be afraid. For the Lord your God, he is the one who will go before you. He will not leave you. The Lord will not forsake you. Graduates, today we recognize you. We recognize your achievements as a testament to your growth, your transformation, your potential. We are also aware that some of you are already employed, blazing your trail and contributing to the workforce with your skills. Tam CC recognize you. We all here, we recognize you. We applaud you. Go forth, do well. 
Don't give up. Continue to sell yourself to potential employers. Also, don't be afraid to continue to upskill and empower yourself. Make yourself more marketable, since the government of Grenada has made education free and accessible to all Grenadians. We are thankful for this. I think we should give a round of applause, because you can come back to TAM CC and you can get another degree in another area as needed. Be grateful, because lots of people have poured into your growth and development. Be grateful for the one, the two, the three or more years you spend. Be thankful to your parents, of course. Be thankful to your guardians, your relatives, your friends, your faculty, staff, the college council, the government of Grenada, the corporate world, and perhaps even a stranger would have given you a lift to school. Be grateful for that. Parents and everyone gathered here today, take a bow. You have made a lot of sacrifices, and today we are, you are reaping the benefits. In closing, let me once again welcome you to this graduation ceremony and congratulations to you graduates. I leave you with Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Enjoy the rest of the ceremony and God bless you all. Thank you, Mrs. Martha Bowie-Neptune, for an exceptionally warm welcome. Invitees, please be informed that absolutely no vending is allowed. Refreshments can be purchased at the concession stands located to the back of the stands. I now invite Dr. Ronald Brunton to deliver the principal's remarks. Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency Dame Cecile Grenard, Minister of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, Senator the Honorable David Andrews, other distinguished ministers of government and parliamentarians, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Chairperson of the College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenard, and other members of the College Council, Registrar, Ms. Marva Bowen-Neptune, other members of the senior management team, administration, staff, and faculty of the college, distinguished feature speaker, Dr. Nicholas Earl Braffitt, entrepreneur and philanthropist, esteemed representatives of the local, regional, and international educational institutions, evangelist Daniel Ross of the Christian Brethren Assemblies, esteemed representatives of the corporate community, senior officials of government ministries and departments, representatives of the media, students of 2023 graduating class, specially invited guests, virtual attendees, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, congratulations to our graduates who are here today, those who are joining us online, those who have started their studies already at other institutions, regionally, internationally, and Locally, congratulations. Uh, indeed, I am beyond thrilled to be here today celebrating your incredible achievements at this remarkable juncture in your lives. It is a privilege to stand before this assembly of extraordinary individuals who are about to embark on an incredible, incredible journey. To our graduates, I offer my heartiest congratulations to the honors and awards that you have worked so hard to achieve. You are not just reaching milestones, you are expanding expectations, shining brightly, and setting the bar to what is possible. Can we get a round of applause for our incredible graduates here today? Graduating is indeed an incredible achievement, one that should fill you with immense pride. 
But let's acknowledge that you didn't get here by yourself. Look around you at the people who have been your pillars of strength, your unwavering support system and your guiding stars, your lecturers who have both been your mentors as well as your most formidable challengers. They've worked relentlessly to provide you with the most up-to-date content as well as the highest quality standards in terms of teaching. They've provided critical feedback on your assignment aimed at your improvement. Your teachers at TAMCC have contributed towards uh, nurturing this amazing talent that we have graduated here today at our ceremony. So let's give a hearty round of applause for our faculty members who are here today, all teachers. We also need to recognize the countless contributions of your parents and loved ones who have been with you through the thick and thin, and all of the friends and family members who have uplifted you when the weight of the world have felt overwhelming. They too deserve recognition today. Can we get a round of applause for all the supporters, those who have guided you to be here today. So as we reflect on this moment, I remember the words of Nelson Mandela, and I wish to share them with you today. He says, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So graduates, you are now armed with this powerful weapon, this most powerful tool. It is up to you to use it wisely to bring about change that you wish to see in the world. Indeed, education empowers us to rise above the challenges, to question the status quo, and to work towards a brighter future. Today, as we stand on the precipice of your new beginnings, I want to assure you that the college is dedicated to enhancing every facet of the educational journey. Our commitment is unwavering, and we understand that your success and well-being are intricately connected to the services that we provide and the curriculum that we offer. The knowledge and skills that you have gained during your time at TAMCC will serve as a foundation for your future. As you navigate your career, never underestimate the power of continuous learning. It is a good thing and a good time to believe in the possibility of change, and, never, and it's never too late to reinvent yourself, to learn something new, to chase a different dream. So as we expand and grow our curriculum, Tab CC, we look forward to seeing you back in the classroom again, pursuing a bachelor's degree, a master's degree perhaps, a professional development course designed to advance your skills and to propel your career. At TAMCC, we have embraced the concept of lifelong learning, and we recognize that professional growth and professional development has no end. If there is one thing that I've learned throughout my career, is that growth doesn't happen when you're in your comfort zone. We have to be willing to take chances, even if it feels like you're walking on a tightrope. We have to be willing to take chances. Sometimes we have to be willing to take a leap of faith, trust in the Almighty, and embrace the unknown. I have seen the magic that can happen when we do so. Now that everything that you need to know to succeed out there in the real world cannot be taught in the classroom, when you go out there into the world of work, you will encounter all types of persons, customers, co-workers, supervisors, and bosses. Some of them will be your closest allies. Some of them will be your best friends. Others may not be so well-intentioned. However, I encourage you to rise above any negativity and keep believing in yourself. Never let others define you. It is essential to know your value and to trust in your ability, even when the world seems to doubt you. In your career, you will face moments when you question your path or worry that you're not moving quickly enough. Just remember, success is not a sprint, it is a journey. Life may sometimes be a tough crowd, and you will always have your struggles, but it's those challenges 
that make you stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Graduates, I want you to remember that your experience at TAMCC was not just about academics, passing examinations, and collecting your certificate at the end. We have been preparing you to be the future leaders of Grenada, the agents of change who will transform and build our society and build the economy. We expect that you will be the important catalyst in the great Grenadian reset. As we approach 50 years of independence, the next 50 years of growth and sustainable prosperity are in your hands. In the words of Bob Marley, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. Get up, stand up, and don't give up the fight. Your education is a powerful tool to empower and lift yourself up. So graduates, today is a time of reflection on the challenging journey that has brought you to this moment, a journey filled with trials, triumphs, and countless lessons. You have preserved through sleepless nights and daunting deadlines. You've weathered storms and emerged stronger. You've grown into scholars, leaders, and change makers. So to our esteemed graduates of our beloved T.A. Mary Show Community College, I say this, keep dreaming big, keep striving for excellence, and keep pushing the boundaries of what is possible. You, you are the change makers, the leaders of tomorrow. Grenada awaits your brilliance. The world awaits your brilliance, your compassion, and your leadership. So congratulations to the class of 2023, and thank you for showing the world what it means to be the change that you wish to see. The future is yours for the taking, and I have no doubt that you will make it a brighter, more inclusive, and world full of hope. Your story is just the beginning, and it is an incredible one. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you very much, Dr. Brunton. Ladies and gentlemen, just an announcement. Senator the Honorable David Andrew, our Minister for Education, Sports, Youth, and Culture, will be joining us later in the ceremony. At this juncture, I invite all present to sit back as we have our first musical presentation from the Tam CC Chorale.
as black as my skin there's a light burning bright showing me the way but I know where I've been there's a cry in the distance it's a voice that comes from deep within And there's a cry asking why I pray the answers up ahead But I know I Let's give him another round of applause. <laughs> Lovely voices. Our featured speaker this afternoon is Dr. Nicholas Earl Brathwaite, entrepreneur and philanthropist. Dr. Brathwaite will deliver his address remotely 
And so we ask that during his address, you give your undivided attention to the screen located to your right. To introduce our featured speaker, I invite Ms. Bisha Otley, Chair of the Department of Business and Office Administration in the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies. Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency, Dame Cecile Lagrenade, Minister for Education, Youth, Sports, and Culture, Senator the Honorable David Andrew, other distinguished ministers of government and parliamentarians, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Chairperson of the College Council, Dr. Wendy Grenade, and members of the College Council, Principal, Dr. Ronald Brunton, Registrar, Mrs. Marva Bowen-Neptune, other members of the senior management team, administration, faculty, and staff of the college. Distinguished featured speaker, Dr. Nicholas Earl Broffitt, entrepreneur and philanthropist. Esteemed representatives of local, regional, and international educational institutions. Evangelist Daniel Ross of the Christian Brethren Assemblies esteemed representatives of the corporate community, senior officials of government ministries and departments, representatives of the media, students of the 2023 graduating class, specially invited guests, parents, relatives, and other well-wishers, virtual attendees, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Dr. Nicholas Earl Brothwit, is a founding managing partner of Celesta Capital, a global deep tech venture capital firm based in Silicon Valley. He has decades of experience in technology development, business building, and investments. Prior to Celesta, Dr. Broffitt co-founded Riverwood Capital, a private equity firm focused on investments in high growth technology and related companies. Dr. Brothwit has spent over 25 years as a technology operating executive, most recently as the chairperson and CEO of Aptina Imaging, a semiconductor industry leader in developing CMOS image sensors for mobile phones, automotive applications, medical devices, and industrial applications. Dr. Broffitt served as the Chief Technology Officer at Flextronics for more than a decade, where he oversaw the launch and growth of several of Flextronics' largest business units, including an innovative push into product development. He started his career at Intel before leaving to become a founding member of NCHIP, where he was responsible for the development of industry-leading advanced multi-chip module assembly processes. Currently, Dr. Broffitt serves as a board director at several public and privately held companies, including Northwestern Mutual, Power Integrations, Atona Pacor SC, and others. Dr. Broffitt earned a Master's of Science degree in Polymer Science from the University of Waterloo, Canada, and a Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Chemistry from McMaster University, Canada. He was granted honorary doctorates by McMaster University and the University of the West Indies and was awarded the Distinguished Alumni Award by the University of Waterloo. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Dr. Nicholas Earl Broffitt. Thank you very, very much. If you'll allow me, I'd like to stand on the protocols already established. It is a tremendous honor to have the opportunity to deliver this keynote speech at this year's TAM CC graduation. I'm truly sorry I couldn't be there in person to actually meet the graduates and 
and meet all of the other people. I was really impressed by watching the procession with the number of young ladies I saw, and it reminded me of the fact that I heard stories that, you know, when my mother was at St. Joseph's Convent, I was told that she was one of the top students, but she never went on to, to higher education, partly because back in those days I was told um, people didn't invest as much in the education of young ladies. So it is really heartening to see the number of young ladies that we have graduating today. At the same time, it, 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 was, it was sad that I didn't see more young men and I wonder what's happening with all of our young men. So the young men who are there and graduating need to make sure they get their friends to, to start um, going back to school and, and pursuing uh, more advanced education. I know that um, Minister Andrew is going to give a charge to the student later. I've heard him speak and he's very articulate. And I listened to the speech by, by the principal and you know, they've, they've, I knew they would do a good job addressing the students. So for me today, I want to focus my talk more at a higher level, talking about TAMCC and the role and value of TAMCC in the Grenada context. I do not expect everyone to agree with everything I say, but please know that whether you agree or disagree, the basis for everything I share with you today is driven by my deep love for and my commitment to my homeland. My talk today is entitled Protecting and Enhancing Grenada's Greatest Assets. You know, Grenada's greatest assets are not our beautiful beaches. They're not our majestic mountains with their lush vegetation. And although we're known for our nutmeg and other spices, those are not our greatest assets. In my humble opinion, our greatest assets are the young people of the island. But those assets, our greatest assets, I believe are at risk. Decades of high unemployment means that a significant percentage of our population between the ages of 25 and 40 have never had the opportunity to experience the satisfaction of having a meaningful job. In fact, some of them may have never had a job. Many of our best and brightest who have gone abroad to study would love to be able to return to live and work in Grenada, but are not able to do so due to the lack of opportunities. We must therefore focus on our young people, our greatest assets, as the center of our transformational agenda. In order to attract businesses and increase job opportunities for our young people, we must develop a world-class workforce and foster a vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem. I believe that the best way to rapidly develop a globally competitive workforce and to foster a vibrant entrepreneurial culture in Grenada is to better prepare our TAMCC students to thrive in this fast-moving, technology-driven global marketplace. Our transformational agenda, or the Great Grenadian Reset, must therefore include revolutionary changes in our approach to educating our students, starting with TAMCC. So why TAMCC? Why start with TAMCC? I'm not suggesting that other schools don't matter. Every school matters. But when you include the School of Continuing Education, almost 1% of the population of Grenada pass through TAMCC every year. That means we can impact a very large percentage or a significant percentage of our population in a very short time by focusing on TAMCC. Some of those leaving TAMCC will continue their education at universities, colleges, and trade schools, but most of them will likely become part of the local workforce. Whatever their choice, 
we need to better prepare our students to be successful in the next stage of life. TAMCC, therefore, needs to become a springboard for launching students into their future endeavors. We need to prepare our students to get into top-rated universities because just getting a university degree is no longer sufficient. And gone are the days when a university degree by itself was a major differentiator. The quality of education matters. But since not all time CC graduates will go on to college or university, we need to ensure that those entering the workforce have the skills and are properly prepared for the jobs of today and the jobs of the future. Most businesses are looking for individuals who can make an immediate impact without requiring a lot of basic training. We need to make sure that our students are well prepared to have an immediate, to be able to immediately contribute to the work environment at the levels that they get into. Our, our educational system needs to be updated. No doubt, we inherited a great educational platform from the British, and that platform has served us well. However, the world our students are graduating into today is very different from the world that many of us graduated into. And some of you may say, well, how is the world different? If, well, allow me to just list a few things. The mobile phone, the internet, both of which provide access to information that we did not have in our time. Social media, as a result of social media, relationships are different. Now, some of the young people might be thinking, you know, these old people just don't understand. So may I take this moment to just remind you, young people, that your generation did not invent the mobile phone or the internet. And you didn't, you, you may take credit for social media, but if you do so, you should also take credit for ransomware and other, other things. But today, a person graduating from TAM CC has the potential for global job opportunities that may not have existed in our time. And there are new and emerging professions every year, maybe even every day. Many of our graduates will be employed in jobs that may not even yet exist. When I was going to school at PVC, you know, there were, there were the basic jobs, lawyer, doctor, nurse, teacher, accountant, there were not many opportunities. Today, the opportunities are vast and global. Our young people need to be able to thrive in an environment that is fast moving, innovative, data driven, highly competitive, and multicultural. In this environment, multidisciplinary skills and ability to, to apply their knowledge will be extremely important. What used to be referred to as soft skills, such as the ability to deal with adversity, not being afraid to fail, leadership skills, resilience, the ability to form teams and work collaboratively. All of those are now essential for success in a world into which they are graduating. But what should the transformation of TAM CC look like? First of all, it sh I believe it should start with building a TAM CC identity. That TAM CC identity should be so powerful that when a TAM CC student applies to a university or for a job, the fact that they went to TAM CC should mean something. Being a TAM CC graduate should give our students a competitive edge. This will not happen overnight, I know, but the work of getting it done needs to start now. It is time to move beyond talk and start structuring and planning for the results that we hope to achieve. There is a new education revolution coming globally. And TAM CC needs to become the leader of that education revolution in Grenada. The revolution is not about number of graduates and will not be helped by great inflation. The focus needs to be on better preparing our students to excel in whatever they choose to do next. In a fast moving, 
technology-driven, globally connected world. We will need to embrace and become early adopters of technology in order to bridge the digital divide and ensure that our students are not disadvantaged. I understand that not everyone thinks the same way about technology as I may. And I know that new or advanced technology is often met with skepticism from a large percentage of the population. And not just in Grenada, globally. For example, recently there are a lot of discussions and debates about the impact of and promise and risks of artificial intelligence, in particular generative AI. I believe that part of the fear is that language is one of the most important human differentiators. That's the one thing that probably differentiates us from, from animals more than anything else. And because these large language models have the potential to make machines more human-like, that will scare a lot of people. There is no doubt that there are ethical and other issues that must be addressed, but technology in general has the potential to exponentially improve productivity, which we need in Grenada. And it has the ability to even the playing field so that we can potentially start businesses and make changes that are competitive with others in other parts of the world. I am a technologist and so I'm biased, but technology itself is almost never the problem. It is how we use technology that is the problem. So instead of trying to avoid technology, let's teach our young people how to properly leverage technology to create differentiation and competitive advantages. And let us also train them to be good ethical contributors to society. So how do we go about training our students for success? How do we prepare them for the success we hope they'll have? Celebrating the number of students graduating and numbers going on to university is important, but let us all start paying, also start paying attention to the quality of the education that we provide them. And that quality should not just be measured by grades because that can lead to great inflation. We must pay attention to the quality of jobs and the quality of schools that our students are able to, to access or get, get into. I know for a fact that some of our top students over the years have struggled, when they, including Island Scholars, by the way, when they, when they started the first couple of years at universities. In order to address some of these issues, we will need innovative thinking at all levels, and we would need to foster a culture of innovation in teaching and learning. It is not just about in learning, it also has to be in teaching. I am personally excited by the new council led by Dr. Wendy Grenad. Dr. Grenad has shared with me her inspiring vision for the school, and we all need to support her and the council as they move towards implementation. I have to admit that I would personally like to see significantly accelerated pace, maybe because I come from an industry where pace is normally the biggest differentiation. But I'd like to offer some thoughts and ideas for the council to consider. We need to encourage intellectual curiosity. This is not something that was done in the past. This has to be the forefront of how we educate our children. We need to develop problem solving and critical thinking skills. We need to include civic mindedness as part of our, of our training activities. And we need to create an environment for teamwork and collaboration. TAMCC needs a specific and attractive student commons area for collaborative learning. This needs to be a high priority for TAMCC, this in addition to supporting the, the, the young people in the collaborative learning activities can also be a place where students and teachers can interact outside of the classroom. We also do not have to depend only on the faculty to teach our students. We should leverage or involve experts both internally and externally. We should not put so much pressure on the faculty that they have to teach everything to everybody. 
Here are some examples and some ideas of how we can incorporate others into our training. Why not invite Kirani James and, and Lyndon Victor to share their thoughts on attributes of good sports management to our management class? Why not invite Shadel Nayak to discuss challenges associated with starting and expanding an internationally focused business as part of an entrepreneurship class? Invite Mr. Killer to discuss building a global reputation in the entertainment industry. And invite Mr. Richard Duncan to discuss tran the transition of, transitioning of an ind indigenous bank from penny bank to corp bank that outlasted the international banks. Think about the impact that can have on, on the students and how we can reinforce the theories that they learn in the classroom. I have another big proposal I'd like to, to suggest here today to both the government and the TAMCC Council. I'd like to suggest the establishment of a diaspora-enabled fund that will be used for funding specific measurable initiatives that will help deliver incremental impact to the students at TAMCC. This can include expanded or enhanced learning opportunities for students, including things like trips and internships. For example, this could be used to finance a trip to Guyana or to the Amazon to study the dynamics of life in a large rainforest. It could be used to finance a trips to Karyaku to study the impact of mangroves or to the Tobago Keys to study the marine life there. This endowment can also be used for specific programs for faculty development, but it must be based on merit, proven competence, and results, and not based on friendships or party affiliation. We should use this to bring in world-renowned, highly accomplished specialists to help augment some of the teaching they get in the classroom. We can bring in people to teach marine science, entrepreneurship, and others. We could bring visiting lectures, visiting lecturers from industry leaders and uni even university professors. I would propose that such an endowment should be administered by a team that will include members of the diaspora since it's gonna be probably majority funded from the diaspora. If you are willing to do something like this, I will make a commitment today to become one of the anchor investors in such a fund. Finally, to the council administrators and faculty of TAMCC, I hope this message today will help encourage you to think big. We cannot ask our students to think big if our staff and faculty think small. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Brathwaite. Graduates, I hope you will take this message with you, that you are a great asset. Do not at any point in time take for granted the impact that you can have on this world. Take chances, make moves, and understand that this, this is not it. This is just the beginning. And so I want you to turn to the person next to you and say to them, I am the greatest asset. Say it a little louder, I am the greatest asset. That's right, and don't ever forget it. At this point, we have another musical presentation from Tam CC students, Joshua Noel and Marcus Smith.
Thank you so much, Joshua and Marcus. Graduates, parents, guardians, well wishers, the moment has arrived. I invite the students from the School of Continuing Education to please stand and make your way down to accept your degrees. In the meantime, graduates, please note that you will be receiving your diploma covers. Inside of the covers, you will find a ticket and a letter from the registrar. This ticket can be used at the end of today's ceremony to redeem your refreshments at the concession stand behind you and to your right. Please note that you are also expected to return to your seat after, re after receiving your certificates. To do the presentation of graduates, I invite Mrs. Lauren Alexander, Dean of the School of Continuing Education to the podium. To assist with the distribution of degrees, I also invite Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenard, Governor General of Grenada. Graduates, you can make your way down. Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency, Dean Cecile Lagrenard, and other members of the head table. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow colleagues, permit me to stand on the protocol Permit me to stand on the protocol already established. Good afternoon. I am Lorraine Peters Alexander, Dean for the School of Continuing Education. And it is an honor and privilege to present to you the students who have satisfied the graduation requirements from the School of Continuing Education in the various programs. Certificate of Competence in Cosmetology Services Technician. Oksana Alin. Minister of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, 
Senator the Honorable David Andrew. Monique Thomas. Certificate of Competence in Electrical Installation. Certificate of Competence in General Construction. Zane Frederick. Certificate of Competence in General Office Administration. Technician Shannon Mark Alexander. Jonathan McQueen with honors. He's also the best graduating student for that program. Jaheem Stafford. Cosmetology Services Technician. Carol Barry Judge. And she is the best graduating student for that program. Kristen King. Kelsey Lambert. Alicia Roberts. Shauna Thomas. Shamali Williams with honors. Diploma in Electrical Installation. 
Serene Julian with honors. Michael Alexander with honors. Oba Edwards. Valentino Felix. Julian Dion. Jamie Maloney, and he's the best graduating student from that program. Rondell Sargent. Levon Thomas. Vaughn Alexander Jr. with honors. Javon John. Kenroy Williams. Jordan Mitchell. Rico Noel. Technical Diploma in Fashion Design. Arena Alexander with honors. Marcella Charles. Krista Frederick with honors. And she's also the best graduating student for that program. Chrislyn Judge. Ronald Hippolyte with honors. Jada Job with honors. Tahira Moses. Shavon Pearl with honors. Kadin Rene with honors. Tarion Richards with honors. Kimberly St. Louis. Teresa Williams. Thank you to Her Excellency Dame Cecilia Grenade. I now invite Senator the Honorable David Andrew, Minister of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture, to assist with the distribution of degrees. Technical Diploma in General Construction, Tristan Grant. Jarrell Mitchell, and Jarrell is the best graduating student for that program. Sham Prince. Technical Diploma in General Office Administration. Monique Alexander. Princess Alexander. 
the Shauna Blackman Weeks Honors. Melinda Bonaparte. Anil Brison. Gabriel Klein, Gabriel Klein with honors. Ruth the Ravenna. Brianna the Ranjit with honors. Shania Felix. Jenny Patrick with honors. Jennifer Patrick with honors. And she's the best graduating student for that program. Azalea Fletcher with honors. <laughs> Tiffany Palmer with honors. Lindell Stafford with honors. Shadell Scott with honors. Diamond Glenn with honors. Kyla Graves with honors. Kimberly Smith Hippolyte. Dinia Pierre. Alicia Regis with honors. Princess Fletcher with honors. Kashida Richards with honors. Christy Greenwich. Deshante McPhee. Akim Mitchell with honors. Kendana Thomas. Nikwana Williams. Harden Williams with honors. Nazia Felix. Rayon Worm. Wayan Rom, warm with honors, sorry. Technical Diploma in Hospitality Services. Kevon Barry. Shinal Bihari with honors. And she is the best graduating student for that program. 
Anisia Joseph. Rashawn St. Louis with honors. Alicia Samuel with honors. Omarion Williams. Technical Diploma in Motor Vehicle Engine Systems, Miguel Triton. <laughs> Tevin Moran with honors. <laughs> Technical Diploma in Plumbing. Tevin Moran with honors. Randall Mack. Kenyon Moses Joseph with honors. All Jacob. DeAndre Matlin. Tafari Dumont with honors. LJ El Hali with honors. Naradi Joseph. Devin Tyson. Kimani Hall. Marcus. Jo Jacob, Marcus Jacob, <laughs> Akiva Nelson, Travis Charles, Teddy Matthew. Jaden Glasgow. Sean Bernard. Tarek Henry. With honors. Tarek Henry with honors. Tyrell Japal Daniel with honors. And Tyrell is the best graduating student for the plumbing program. Associate degree in accounting technician. And these students have also written some of the programs, some of the courses under the um, ACCA Accounting Technician program. So they will also be receiving diplomas from ACCA as well as certificates from TAMCC. Rihanna Alexis. Afia Lewis Richards.
with one map Blackman. Now we move to our part-time program, our associate degree in business studies. Nisha Allard with honors. Associate degree in social work. Anika Modest Philip with honors. Cardin Modest Samuel, best graduating student in social work, graduating with honors. Alana Noel, with honors. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the School of Continuing Education graduating class of 2023. The last round of applause. I thank you. I invite the, the graduates from the School of Applied Arts and Technology to make their way to the stage to accept their diplomas. To present our graduates, I invite Mrs. Melissa Polia Sean, Dean of the School of Applied Arts and Technology. To assist in the distribution of degrees, I invite Wendy, the chair. Governor General of Grenada, Your Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to stand on the protocol already established. Good afternoon, all. It is an honor and privilege to present to you the students who have satisfied the graduation requirements from the School of Applied Arts and Technology in their various programs. Certificate in Automotive Service Technology, Level 2. Darren Alexander. Jardel Paul. Jolina Peters. Ronald Regis. Jaden Smith. Shackle Church with honors and the best graduating student. Associate degree in building trades and services. Serena Ed. Misha Klein with honors and best graduating student. Rian Gilbert. Shema Thomas. Leandra John. Christian Latouche.
Neon Mason Calist. Nicosi Olive. Lyndon Walcott. Donna Samuel. Dylan Welch. Donnell St. Bernard. Tiffany Johnson. Associate degree in building technology. Torian Primus. Glory Grant with honors. Rene Walcott with honors. Christian Frank. Renel Mark. Alana Lewis with honors. Roger Chaitan with honors. Quadonna Mendoka with honors and the best graduating student in that program. Sarah Francis with honors. Celine Klein with honors. George Gogoy Benitez with honors. Zeta Belfon with honors. Naomi Green with honors. Dylan Tellisford with honors. Associate degree in computer systems technology. Jared Blesdale. Gavin Griffith with honors and the best graduating student. Matthew Williams. Associate degree in information technology. Jeb Julian with honors. Michaela Heliger. Josiah Best with honors. Jalil Boyle. Quintel Charles with honors. Kitaka Joseph. Alika Kiz Jeremiah. Jamar Nicholas. Nazim Roberts.
associate degree in culinary arts, Delicia Azor. Maya Dikoto. Trina Jessamine. Beyonce Thomas. Shakira Mitchell. Amaya Habin. Latisha Johnson. Akiba Cave. Marvin Smith. Razelle Felix. Sabrina Alexis. Rene Connaught with honors. Naisha Charles. Taisha Richards. Tarika Thomas. Zakia Courtney. Ashley Charles. Jamario Garraway. Dwayne Seymour. Anna Laguerre with honors and the best graduating student. And Dalla Thomas with honors. Alicia Phillips. Kadisha Williams. Jerome Carmichael. Associate degree in electrical technology. Ricky Frank. Renal Thomas. Tristan Charles with honors and the best graduating student. Khalil Steel with honors. Malon Philip. Josiah Cooper with honors. Gerald Garcia. Rashad Charles. Jaden Paul. Sean Sensier with honors. Eric De 
developed with honors. Makesh Francis. Mondel Walker. Mauricia A. Briggs Bullen. Ryan Arnold. Chris Philip. Nicholas Mona. Associate Degree in Food and Beverage Management. Ronatha Crosby with honors and the best graduating student. Elisa Francic. Shiniqua John. Vita Lewis Deja Pollard Maya Theodore Irisha Young Associate Degree in Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration, Caleb John. Jamal McLeod. Kevin Marishow. McQueen Associate Degree in Hospitality Studies Amaya Jelino with honors and the best graduating student Tamia Wickham Janisha Lessi with honors. Torrell Peh. Associate degree in mechanical technology, Antonio Allard. Cuyando Sinak. Wyatt Collins Griffith. Shaquille Emmanuel. Jamal Fleming with honors. Elvin Harvey with honors and the best graduating student. Louisa Pariag with honors. Associate degree in tourism studies. Jordina Alexis. Jodia Charles. Annalie. Dublin
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I invite you to join me in congratulating the students of the School of Applied Art and Technology with a lusty round of applause. Thank you. Thank you to Mrs. Melissa Polias John, Dean from the School of Applied Arts and Technology, and thank you to Dr. Wendy Grenade for assisting with the distribution of degrees. At this point in time, I would like to recognize the presence of Minister for Kareku and Piti Matnik Affairs, Honorable Tevin Andrews, who is here to support our graduates from Kareku and Piti Matnik. I would also like to recognize the presence of Minister for Youth, Sports, and Culture, Honorable Ron Redhead. At this juncture, we have another musical presentation from Tam CC student, Katie Danglade. In the meanwhile, I will ask the students from the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies to prepare to come down and collect your degrees. You 
to present the graduates from the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies. I invite Mr. David Ambrose, Dean of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies to the podium. To assist with the distribution of degrees, I invite Dr. Ronald Brunton, Principal. Your Excellency, the Governor General, and the MCC La Grenade, distinguished members of the head table and on stage, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to stand on protocol already established. Good afternoon to all. It is an honor and privilege to present to you the students who have satisfied the graduation requirements from the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies in their various programs. Certificate in Midwifery, Samantha Ashton Mitchell. Christine Bartholomew. Karenza Bagwan, Nadia Clouden Rock, Carrie Darius, Dalise Edwards Joseph. Jenny Felix Mitchell. Beverly Hall Marast. Kenesia King. Yoland Jones. Siobhan McSween. Ophelia Noel McLawrence. Miranda Paul Charles. Carolyn Thomas. Joan Williams Andrews. Associate degree in Arts and Humanities, Linton and Twine. Asha Fraser. Atalia Walcott with honors, top student in Arts and Humanities, Awardee Ralston Adams Memorial Award in English Literature. 
Associate degree in Business Studies, Destiny Alexander. Naomi Alexander. Makaya Alfred. Kelly Bedo. Kaza Belfon. Ashley Jeremiah. Anna Bola Jaloni Blackman Jada Kalist Alia Roberts Rihanna Clement with honors. Afia Patrice. Kenissa Roberts. Renee Clement with honors, the second best graduating student on the Karaku campus. Diella Findlay. Nathan King. Rexella Langain Ed. Danica Purcell with honors. Kedra Lashington with honors. Tamaya Mark Charles with honors. Jadel Lewis. Anaika Murray with honors. Brianna Noel. Naima Mitchell. Alia Patterson. Cassidy Primus with honors. Angel Richards. Tomika Richards. Pharrell Williams. Isaiah Tannis. Sachelle Alves with honors, best graduating student from the Karaku campus and the top business studies student of this class. Garcia St. Bernard with honors. Kiana McQuilkin with honors. Kentisha Duncan. Kendra Phillip. Jada Matthew with honors. Daniel Scott.
Tarek Solin. Kobe Sylvester. Ebony Sylvester. Deandra Vincent. Associate degree in English, Cassie Murrell. Associate degree in General Studies, Chanel Charles, graduating with honors. Shania Pierre. Trey John. Trishon Thomas. Niger English. Akela John. Brittany Heisen. Rogel Boni. Kadeen Pascal with honors. Top student in general studies. Awarded the Anthony Prosper Memorial Award for excellence in history. Markia Ford. Page Bud Nissa Penny Avelia Andrews Christoph Chisholm Nathan Tellisford. Eileen Charles. Jade Licorice. Brittany Salfali. Crystal Cadet Sabrina Rennie Marissa Alexander Abenai Matthew Nisha Mitchell Giovanni Thomas Tiwa Andrews with honors Associate degree in natural sciences Lillian Best, graduating with honors. <laughs> Rochelle Griffith, with honors. <laughs> Top student in natural sciences. Top performer in chemistry. Best graduating SASPS student. And there's more. Valedictorian of the 2023 graduating class. Samuel Williams, graduating with honors. Maya Charles, with honors.
Nia Jeremiah with honors. Andrew Thomas with honors. Zanilia Joseph with honors. Kyla Johnson with honors. Khadija Bell. Jadon Sylvester. Deja Bernard with honors. Kaya Bethel. Samaya Gray. Khalil Philip with honors. Kiwan Noel. Tristan Pivot with honors. Top performer in mathematics. Dante Stewart. Jonathan Tellisford. Ajani Frederick with honors. Kyle Charles McSween with honors. Kade Paul. Jorel Simon. Kimberly Inns with honors. Nia Cadet. Ariel Bartholomew. Cadel Batiste. Amber Darius. Arian Clowden. Adil Kalist. Kyle McQuilkin. Stephen Duncan. Camilla Edgar. Adi Ferre with honors. Jada Lewis with honors. Jenin Clement. Shana Charles. Rene Charles. Jamaica Bernard. Azilfa Macmillan. With honors, the second best overall graduating student of this class. Justine Lewis.
A Kenneth and Lewis. Colleen Fortune. Rihanna George Simon. Colleen Harford. Colleen Harford. Jennifer Hayes. Kathy Henry. Ayana Glud. Rashida Jeremiah. Jamila Jeremiah. Leah Lawrence. Shakira Lewis. Latisha Mitchell. Menelik Monroe. Noella Morin. Celine Ned. Whitney Noel Tika. Mackenzie Ogilvy with honors, the recipient of the Alliance Francaise Award for Excellence in French. Ravon Payne with honors. Kerry Phillip. Makeda Noel. Michaela Prince. Kalia Lyons. Arella Phillip. Abby Primus. Visa Pillai. Now Lady Pivot. Jenny Regis. Shanaika Ross. Shaniqua Smart with honors. Zaria Smith. Kelly Thomas. Deshona Vincent. Jerrell Jeremiah with honors. Nelia Samuel. The Deputy Chair of the College Council, Mr. Larry Barry, to assist with the distribution of degrees. Associate degree in nutrition and dietetics. Lutisha Kellist, top student in this program.
Shamika Chaitan. Donti Felix. Onaika Alexander, Associate Degree in Office Administration. Felicia Batiste. Tamara Cox. Makita Wise. Anna Pursue. K. Charles. Jade Kalist. Veronica Frederick. Tiana Jeremiah with honors, top student of this program. Leona Mitchell with honors. Monique Thomas. Amanda Patrice. Jamaica Simpson. Alia Langdon. Associate degree in pharmacy. Glendion McIntosh. Ariel Ned. Associate Degree in Physical Education and Sports, Joshua Douglas. Third, Justin, top student of this program. Zachary Sylvester. Associate Degree in Psychology, Jada Carrington Gabriel. Blossom Charles. Tamara Charles. Abigail Holmes. Krishal Philip. Kellyanne Dubiset. Nature Matthew. Samanda St. Bernard. Ashida Thomas. Jaina Benjamin. Associate degree in social sciences. Cassie Johnson. Tashona Mark. Rina Gabriel. Shade Vincent. Paulisha Thomas.
Tire Abraham. Omnisi McNeil. Shintia Julian with honors. Jordan McIntosh with honors. Associate degree in general studies, Kelani Edmond. Trevona Cox. Associate degree in social sciences, Shadeen Scott. Fidel Stroth. Rahid Patterson. Kiona Steven. Natalia Oliver with honors. Top student in social sciences. Gaylene Phillip with honors. Top Muta, top class presenter. Sherika Hippolyte with honors. Top Muta, top class presenter. Giovanni Telesford. Gariel Walters. Leonie Williams. Karishma Richardson. Kaziah Schoon. Jamilia Gunport. Davion Phillip. Aziki David Antoine. Madalia Charles. Shania Bonaparte. Oluwakemi Mitchell. Joshua Peters. Jasmine Stanislaus. Raquel Baptiste. Jada Glean with honors, top law student. Javona Smith. Lindsay Joseph. Associate degree in social work. Donnery Alexander. Petal Ashton. Cheyenne Charles. Yuana McNeely. Patrice Mitchell.
Karina Philip. Carleen Philip. Dessaline Williams, the top student in this program. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies, please join me in congratulating this class with a lusty round of applause. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. David Ambrose, Dean for the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies. And a special thank you to Mr. Larry Barry, Deputy Chair of the College Council. Graduates, I invite you to stand. I will give you a moment to get to your seats. Okay, so while you're getting to your seats, you may have your seats. Those of you who are standing, you can seat. We'll wait for the others to get to their seats first, in all fairness. In the meantime, I invite... Jahim Stafford, graduate of the School of Continuing Education, to do a musical presentation. This is where I'm meant to be And I'll be there someday I can go the distance I will find my way If I can be strong And I know every mile It will be worth my while When I go the distance I'll be right where I belong down an unknown road to embrace my fear though the road may wander it may lead me to you in a thousand years it will be worth my It will lead me to I'll be there someday Cause I can go the distance I will find my way If I can be strong And I know every mile It's where we were Since I'll be right where I And I will find my way I can go the distance I will find my way and If I can be And I know every It will be worth my while When I go the distance 
distance I'll be right I'll be right I'll be right I'll be Jaheem, let's give him another round of applause. If it's one thing the students of Tam TC have, it's talent. At this point, graduates, I hope that you're at your seats. So I now invite you to stand. I would like you to take your tassels and turn them to the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduates of the class of 2023 of the T.M. Marishal Community College. Thank you, graduates. We have come to the point, you may have your seats. <laughs> we have come to the point of the ceremony where you, the graduates, get the honor of hearing from one of your own, someone who has sat among you and triumphed through the Tam CC journey along with you. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, I invite the class valedictorian obtaining a GPA of 3.97. Ms. Rochelle Griffith. Good afternoon, all. With your permission, I stand on the protocol already established. It is truly an honor and my pleasure to be giving this address today. Class of 2023, we made it. For many of us, I know there were moments where the challenges of life seemed far too big, and we wondered if we would have had the opportunity to be seated today. Moments where the schoolwork seemed much too plentiful and challenging. However, we are here despite the challenges. So I would like to take this opportunity to wish every graduate seated here today a heartfelt congratulations. It is quite the ending, but let us take a second to reminisce on how it all started. Do you remember how you felt at the beginning of this chapter? For many, it was excitement at the prospect of something new. For others, maybe coming here wasn't your choice, so the emotions were less positive. I fell somewhere in between. I remember my parents being adamant that this institution was necessary to develop maturity before moving on to the next stage of education. It turns out they were right, but I take little pleasure in admitting it. 
as a society, we were still reeling from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. School didn't start until November, and even then, the majority of it was online. It was our first real encounter with autonomy in education, and it started at home. I know I'm not the only one who accidentally missed a class or two when an afternoon nap ran over time, or made a snack run to the kitchen when hunger struck in the middle of a lecture, and sometimes, much to our displeasure, the Wi-Fi would present a timely excuse to cancel class. As a group, we also piloted the return to normalcy. Though we were still challenged by the setbacks of the pandemic, we had to learn to do without the extensions and extra considerations. Those who wrote CAPE know exactly what I'm talking about. May the era of broad topics rest in peace. And look, we still succeeded without it. And the experience allowed us to grow in resilience. Furthermore, our time at this institution also proved instrumental in our self-discovery. Career-wise, many of us started heading in one direction, but are leaving with different goals in mind. Those of you who may know me know the extensive list of careers I've cycled through in my short time on this earth so far. Honorable mention to fashion designer, writer, doctor, all of which all of which had my unwavering commitment for the few months they occupied my mind. While we may not have it all figured out as yet, we are certainly closer than where we started. It was also the place where lifelong bonds were forged. Friendships bloomed in some of the most unsuspecting places. And people who had never met before are leaving these walls virtually inseparable. Friend groups were expanded, relationships were built, and a few were lost in between as well. I have had the privilege of bonding with some amazing people in my two years at this institution, and I can truly say that I have gained some lifelong friends. However, it would be remiss of me to end this stroll down memory lane without mentioning the green benches. No matter which program you are part of, I know that every one of us had a green bench experience. Maybe it was your, spotty, your study spots in between classes, or your entertainment hub at the end of the day, but any conversation, if had on the green benches, immediately became 10 times funnier or more interesting. My green bench experience was so diverse, serving many different purposes. It was my study spot, a comedy club, and a podcast studio sometimes all three in a single day. I know for a specific subset of you seated here, Science Block Steps was repurposed for your green bench experience. I can proudly say I had the pleasure of experiencing both. Our journey to this point has been far from sunshine and roses. There were good times and there were challenges. The good we will carry with us as memories and the bad as lessons learned. Thus, as we officially end our TAMCC journey today and look to the future, 
there are three key lessons I want us to carry with us always. Lesson one, always be grateful. Firstly, to God, because without him, none of what we have achieved would have been possible. Secondly, to those who helped us along the way, parents, guardians, teachers, friends. For the time and effort that you poured into our education and personal development. Thank you all. Furthermore, maintaining a generally grateful outlook makes handling the turbulent moments in life all the more tolerable. It's as the old adage goes, gratitude changes your attitude. It may be cliche, but it is certainly true. Every blessing in life comes with its share of challenges. And as the blessings get bigger, the challenges get an upgrade too. Maintaining an attitude of gratitude keeps our attention on the positives greatly empowering us to deal with whatever issues may accompany them. Lesson two, dream big, but don't stop there. We must also work hard to make those dreams a reality. As Denzel Washington once said, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. To that, I would add, goals without a proper work ethic leaves you in an even worse position. It's like knowing exactly where the finish line is, but refusing to run or move at all. Our dreams give us direction, but our work ethic is the vehicle that brings us to our destination. Additionally, give no air to those who tell you to be more realistic about your ambitions. No great scientific discoveries or technological advancements were made by staying within the limits of what was known. However, I will once again reinforce that for it to come to fruition, you must be willing to put in the work. The final lesson, failure is your friend and it is worth the risk. Often, the prospect of failure acts as a deterrent to pursuing dreams and goals that matter to us. However, Failure should not be feared, but embraced as an opportunity for growth as, and learning. In fact, there is absolutely nothing to be gained by refusing to take the risk. The road to success is discerned by all the failures encountered along the way. There is a quote from Stephen Bartlett's book, The Diary of a CEO, that summarizes this point perfectly. Taking no risks will be your biggest risk. You have to risk failure to succeed. You have to risk heartbreak to love. You have to risk criticism for the applause. You have to risk the ordinary to achieve the extraordinary. And he ends it off beautifully by saying, if you live life avoiding risk, you're risking missing out on life. Class of 2023, as I close, I once again wish you congratulations on achieving this milestone. As we move on with our various endeavors, 
I leave you with Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, as a guide. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. I thank you. Thank you to Rochelle Griffith for an excellent valedictory address. Good deeds must be rewarded. To present a special award to the valedictorian of the graduating class of 2023, I invite Ms. Devaki Nichols from Modern Photo Studio to make the presentation. Thank you. To deliver the charge to the graduates, I now invite Senator the Honorable David Andrew, Minister for Education, Youth, Sports, and Culture to the podium. Thank you very much, Madam Mistress of Ceremony. Your Excellency, Dame Cecile Lagrenade, uh, Chair of the Council, Deputy Chair, other distinguished members of the head table, the most recent graduates of the T.A. Marichaux Community College, other specially invited guests, parents, friends, educators, well-wishers all, good afternoon. Good evening. It's my pleasure to be with you this evening and to give a few words and a charge to the graduates. I am always delighted to gather where young people in numbers gather for a positive cause. A little bit earlier, I wondered if I was going to make it because we had sitting of the Senate and I had obligations there but I so wanted to be here, and I'm glad that despite the fact that I arrived late, I was able to witness a substantial part of today's activity. So let me first, let me join in congratulating and commending each of you graduates of this 2023 class. Just getting to this point, is worthy of commendation. I remember, I say to people that in my own educational journey to the second degree level, the master's level, my toughest point in education was at this level. So when you sit in numbers, having gotten to this point, it speaks of success. It speaks of something worthy of commendations. And so let's put our hands together for all of the young men and women graduates of the 2023 class. You are well on your way. The struggles you endured, the hardships, the difficulties, the sleepless nights, the assignments, the presentations that probably you lost on a flash drive somewhere, and I'm sure some of you had that experience after you did it whole night. You lost it sometime when you didn't need to do that. But the fact that you're here, you are well on your way to success. And when I talk of success, I am not talking about graduating with honors. I'm not talking about having a GPA of 3.9. That's good. But that may not necessarily be success. You see, because success is supposed to be the achievement of your goal. And I don't know if you stumbled across those results accidentally or serendipitously, as one might say. But if it wasn't your set objectives, 
I'm not sure what you're going to call it today, but I'm not sure it's success. But I'm encouraging you, for those who can celebrate this as success, I encourage you to celebrate your successes. You know, sometimes we succeed at good things and we don't even want to smile at it. We don't even want to enjoy the moment. Enjoy this moment of success on your achievement and having come this far. But don't live in this one alone. Because you will soon find that today's success will easily become tomorrow's memory. And so you have to keep going. You have to keep going, but you're well positioned to do so. Your theme for today says, Centering Tamsisi in the Great Grenadian Reset. And in my mind, this is quite an appropriate theme. Grenada is about to celebrate 50 years as a nation, as an independent nation. And what better time to begin to consider a reset for Grenada? You see, in the life of organizations, they tell you that at 50 years, organizations need to start thinking about how to remake themselves, how to re-engineer themselves for continuity and longevity. And so too, Grenada is at a place, at a point, where it needs to consider a reset, a remake. And here, let me just pause to thank Dr. Earl Brathwaite for delivering the feature address and for his commitment and his ideas shared towards ensuring that the T.A. Mary Show Community College is used as a central pillar in the reset of Grenada going forward. Dr. Bradwit, we thank you. We look forward to continuing our collaboration with you and other persons in the diaspora as we move to propel TAMCC forward. Thank you. So graduates, what would you like to see Grenada become? If you had a canvas that you had to paint so that we could visualize what you envisage Grenada to be, what would you want to see Grenada be for the next 50 years, given that you would be the ones occupying that time span more than any of us you see sitting up here? More than Her Excellency, more than the Chair of Council, more than the principal. What kind of Grenada would you want to see? The job is yours to paint that canvas in what you would want to see, the society you would want to live in. Our government will continue to invest in you and in our education sector. I'm sorry that most of you you probably have not benefited from the government's free tuition policy at TAMCC and New Law, but fear not, those behind you have benefited and will continue to benefit. And if you have younger siblings, cousins and friends and family, they too will benefit. But our government is committed to continuing to support your educational journey and upliftment and even going forward. When people talk of reset, and I'm gonna be done in two minutes, when people talk of reset, they think of refocusing, they think of readjusting, they think of restarting. And in the context of an evolving Grenada, in the context of a Grenada that's changing, in the context of a globalizing world, in the context of technologies that keep changing the face of almost everything we do, I charge you. I charge you to refocus. I charge you to readjust. I charge you to restart with every given opportunity that you have. I charge you to innovate. I charge you in a world where there seems to be more problems to problem solve. I charge you to be creative because the world is yours and you will be the ones to live in it. 
And as you do that, you will cement your place and your contribution to this great Grenadian reset. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable David Andrew, for the charge to the graduates, or graduates. <laughs> we have now come to the end of the 2023 graduation ceremony of the T.A. Marisha Community College. However, this tremendous occasion would not be truly complete without saying thank you. Today, as we stand on the threshold of a new beginning, it is my privilege to express heartfelt gratitude on behalf of the college community to the individuals who have made this ceremony an outstanding success. This event marks a moment of celebration, reflection, and anticipation, and we owe a great debt of gratitude to many who have played pivotal roles in making this day possible. First and foremost, deepest appreciation to our distinguished faculty and staff who have shared their knowledge and expertise and contributed to creating a conducive learning environment for our graduating class on their educational journey. Your dedication to their growth and unending commitment to excellence have shaped them into the graduates we see today. I extend our gratitude to the parents and guardians who have provided unwavering support to our graduates when it was needed most. To the College Council, the senior management team, the finance committee, and the academic board of the college, thank you for your support throughout the academic year. A special thank you to evangelist Daniel Ross, who kicked off this afternoon's ceremony with a moving prayer, and to students Jonathan and Laurisha for an excellent rendition of the national anthem. To our registrar and the chair of the graduation committee, Mrs. Marva Bowen-Neptune, Thank you for your warm, welcoming words. And to our principal, Dr. Ronald Brunton, thank you for the principal's remarks. We are also deeply grateful to our featured speaker, Dr. Nicholas Earl Brathwaite, for gracing us with your wisdom and inspiring our graduating class with your address. And to Ms. Bisha Ottley for an informative introduction of our featured speaker. Thank you to the deans, Mrs. Lauren Alexander, Mrs. Melissa Polias-John, and Mr. David Ambrose for presenting our graduates, and a special thank you to Her Excellency Dame Cecile La Grenade, to Senator the Honorable David Andrew, to Dr. Wendy Grenade, Dr. Ronald Brunton, and Mr. Larry Barry for assisting with the distribution of degrees. Special appreciation to Rochelle Griffith for an excellent valedictory address and to Senator the Honorable David Andrew for a moving charge. And to our corporate sponsors, a heartfelt thank you for your continued support through your contributions and sponsorship of our students. Your support is highly regarded, and we look forward to long-standing partnerships. We were not only inspired this evening, we were also entertained. Thank you to the Tam Sisi Chorale, to Joshua Noel, Marcus Smith, Katie Danglade, Jaheem Stafford, Jalen Jones, and Vernick Lewis, who we will see shortly, and the Tam CC Band for musical renditions that can only be described as amazing. A true testament to the college's dedication to not only the academic development of our students, but the holistic development also. To the team at TNR Communications for the technical support and the live stream of this event, and to the Government Information Service for broadcasting the ceremony, thank you. To all other members of the media, and to our photographer, special thanks. Lastly, but certainly not least, big thank you to the graduation committee, to the volunteers and all those behind the scenes who have worked tirelessly to ensure the smooth execution of this event. Your dedication and attention to detail have made this ceremony an unforgettable experience. In closing, graduates, as you embark on diverse paths, I urge you to carry the values and knowledge instilled at the T.A. Marishow Community College. Continue to strive for excellence, 
show kindness, and make a positive impact on your societies and by extension, your country and the world. Once again, congratulations and may the future hold prosperity and success for each and every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, before we have the recessional match of the graduates, I ask you to stand as we have the recession of our Governor General, Her Excellency Dame Cecilia Grenade, followed by the members of our head table. The members of the head table will now make their way off stage. And I invite Jalen Jones and Vanique Lewis to do a special performance while we have the recessional match of our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire college community, have a great evening and get home safely. Thank you. So often goes in vain. Oh, 
hope seems like the summer birds to swiftly flown away. And now I'm standing here, my heart so full I can't explain, seeking faith and speaking words I never thought I'd say. Just me.